Hey y'all, it's your girl Lisa and I am back with another Plan With Me video. So you guys, I'm super excited about this upcoming week. Why? Because it's gonna be amazing. Why? Because I claim it, all right? If you would like to see how I'm going to decorate my planner spread inside of my classic happy planner for the week of October the 12th through the 18th, then just keep watching. Did y'all see? I had to lift this up just to see what the dates were. Child, I didn't know what these dates were. Y'all just rocking and rolling. Okay, <laughs> let's go. All right, you guys, so this week inside of my classic happy planner, I love my classic happy planner. I will be using this beautiful kit from Prince Pray Slay. You guys, this kit is called Pretty Planners Unite with Woman of Faith, Mary and Esther. Y'all, let me tell you, if there is nobody that I love more in the Bible, it's Mary. I love Mary so much that I named myself after her along with my good friend Shakisha who is aka Martha. <laughs> we started this scripture reading and writing group over on Facebook and y'all we love it. We call ourselves Mary and Martha and y'all we love it. It's really fun. It helps you to get into the word daily. Not only that, it brings you together in a community of women who also want to become stronger in the word of God because you guys. I love the Lord. I have been taught how to worship. I've been taught discernment and like I've been taught through life lessons about God and who he is and how he blesses you and about his grace and about his abundance. But as far as his word goes, I have not been taught his word. I don't study his word the way that I should. Um, I'm just not just diverse in, in, you know, everything. And especially when it comes to his word, I'm just not grand at knowing God's word. So creating that scripture reading and writing plan has truly helped me to dive into God's word on a daily basis. So if you need somewhere to go, where you want to pick up the word, dive into it, try to dissect it and understand it and know why we love God so much or why we should love God so much, but to know why God loves us so much that he gave his only begotten son, then you got to be into the word. So yeah, um, hit us up over on Facebook. There should be a link down below in my um, description box. Find us and come join, okay? But along this journey of planning and, and getting my life, <laughs> I have found Print, Pray, Slay. I absolutely love, love, love Print, Pray, Slay. And anytime I get into my Bible and I want to just Bible journal or decorate my Bible, I use her printables. And you guys, I print these off on every stick of label paper. I have all of that info down in the description box as well where you can find this paper. Um, I absolutely love it. Love her principles. Um, yeah, go check her out. Use my discount code to save yourself a little coin. If you're not afraid of printables, which you shouldn't be because this is easy to do, um, then go and check her out. I'm telling you, she will make your Bible studying so much better. And today, we're about to put this inside of my planner, okay? Because I want to look at this all week long. Do you guys see the oil? I just want to point that out. Do you see? Do you see the oil? Do you see the oil? And anytime I see oil and I think of the Lord, I think about living oil and, and just living and just like abundance. That's what I think about. I think about living. I think about uh, pouring out blessings. I just think about abundance. Every time I see some oil, honey, good oil. All right, so we're just going to go in. Y'all, this is going to be easy. Oh, did I not? Oh, she's sitting here, but I did not share. So I will be also using this free spirit. A sticker book by the happy planner because y'all see the colors Whew, this is pretty y'all this is warm in my whole heart I'm gonna love going back using my planner this week but yeah we're gonna be using a little bit of free spirit up in here I don't know exactly what I'm gonna use from there but we will be using it so I'm just gonna go in you don't even really have to fussy cut with this why because it's clear label paper so I don't get too fussy. I kind of just outline it because, you know, I want all the extras. Because, you know, I need to be able to write. So I just fussy cut it a little. Not, child ain't no fussy about the cutting I do. I just go around, you know, and just, just cut it, honey. Cut it. Just cut it out. You don't have to be precise. Bloop. And what we are going to do is we are going to sit Mary. Child, we sit Mary right here. Oh, Mary. Mary, don't you? Eat. You know what? I feel like I should share 
I'm feeling led to share the story of uh, Mary and Martha. So I'm going to do that real quick. I'm going to lay her down. I'm going to lay down Mary real quick. Oh, girl, if you... Ch this side pony is blessing my whole life. <laughs> blessing my entire life. So anyway, let me just share the story of Mary and Martha real quick. For some who may not know, you know, don't feel bad if you don't know. I didn't know until later on in my adult life. And when I did figure it out and learn, I resonated with her. Like she just blessed my whole spirit. And I feel like I'm just a Mary in this world. So here we go. The story of uh, Mary and Martha. So it's in Luke 10 uh, verse. Yes, Luke 10, 38 through 42 is where you can find it. So as Jesus and the disciples continued on their way to Jerusalem, they came to a certain village where a woman named Martha welcomed him into her home. Her sister Mary sat at the Lord's feet, listening to what he taught. But Martha was distracted by the big dinner she was preparing. So she came to Jesus and said, Lord, doesn't it seem unfair to you that my sister just sits here while I do all the work? Tell her to come and help me. Come help me. But the Lord said to her, my dear Martha, you are worried and upset over all these details. Girl, you worried about the small stuff. You worried about the little things. There is only one thing worth being concerned about. Mary has discovered it. And it will not be taken away from her. So you sitting over here, you worried about all this other stuff and all these other things. If your house is clean, did you brush the leaves from the front porch? You worried about all that stuff. But Mary is worried about being in the presence of the Lord. She is worried about being in the moment. That's a whole word. <laughs> I marry y'all all day, every day. Because what I try to do is be in the moment i try to be in the moment as much as i can i want to be in god's presence i want to always be paying attention um not that i am because i'm not perfect at it i'm not great at it but it is my driving force my driving force is to love where i'm at <laughs> and y'all that's so hard because I don't feel like I'm where I need to be. And I'm just talking about me. But I know, I know that there are so many other people out there who feel the same way that I do. You don't feel like you're where you should be in life right now. But you know what? I call you right now to just be okay with where you are right now. And pay attention. Look at where God has you. Don't be distracted. Don't be distracted by the social media that tells you you should have this, that, the fifth, and the third. Don't be distracted by the people who tell you you should be more busy. You should be doing this. You have so much potential. Don't be distracted by that. Get in the Lord's presence and find out what it is that God wants you to be doing in that very moment. Because what that is, what that is, is God's will. That's God's will. It's God's will for your life. And it's God's will for other people who are connected to you. So don't be distracted. Honey, I tell you, all day long, I love this. I love this. All day long, I choose to worship. I choose to worship. I choose to honor him. And when I say worship, that doesn't mean that you have to be up singing all your praises. Oh, Lord, give me. You know, I mean, and that's good. Nothing's wrong with that. Nothing's wrong with doing that. Because let me tell you, I do that too. But when I say worship, I mean, I'm always thanking God. I'm always saying, you know what, Lord, I see you. I'm always saying, you know what, Lord, thank you. Even the small stuff, y'all, like when my kids say mama i appreciate you i'm like lord whoo, i thank you i thank you because you know sometimes as mothers we give so much we feel unappreciated and i know y'all know right now it's a lot of y'all who are out you know um who are at home i said out lord jesus because that's where i want to be but um a lot of you mothers are at home and you're homeschooling your kids and it's like lord <laughs> Mm, what we doing what we doing here because they can test you we can test your patience it tests your nerves like every nerve you got but you know what you just have to sit back you know and just be thankful and just be in the moment because god has you there for a reason god has you spending time with that child more time with that child for a reason because society says that you should be out doing other things but now god bless you with this child you brought this child into this world now you rear that child i'm just saying 
I'm just saying it's a reason for everything. Let's jump into this free spirit sticker book. As y'all see, I just put down the sticker. I choose to worship because I do in everything. So these little rose gold situations may bliss. Ooh, I feel like they'd be a whole bliss. And let's just put them down there. You, ooh, do you see that? Ooh, shimmy. Ooh, shimmy, shimmy. Let's just cut these up the middle and let them bless us. Come through. Mm-hmm. We're going to put that right there. Yeah, that's good. That's good right there. Yes, it is. And let's do that on the other side. Bring a little, bring a little balance. We'll put one next to her. Mm-hmm. Hey, Mary. All right. Now, I do want to use this oil because I love the oil. Let's see. Is that too much happening? It looks like it is, but y'all, I want to use this oil so bad. It looked like it could be, but we, we going with it. We are going with it because I just, I want to use that oil. I really do. And then I think I'm going to put the word of the Lord right there. Y'all see that? So y'all, am I the only one in church <laughs> when the pastor says something like, go to Mark, such and such, such and such. And I'm over there like, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. <laughs> I'm over there calling them all out. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John to get to it in my Bible. I know I'm not the only one. I know I'm not. I'm going to put this right here because that's all about Mary and Martha right there. Ooh. Yes. That is so cute to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we did. We just did that. So I think what I'm going to do is take these little arrows, my little tweezers, and just create some checklist with those doing all the things y'all hear that dryer i don't have any um headers i have to figure something out oh that's cute look at you isn't that cute mm -hmm. i like that Gorgeous. You guys, another week. Another week and another chance to get it right, y'all. Another chance to get it right. Another chance to work it out. And another chance to just be great. Y'all, I hope y'all have an amazing and fantastic week. Don't forget to love on somebody this week. Don't forget to pray for somebody this week. Um, everyone who is dealing and just going through something, the Lord, you know what? The Lord is with you. Listen. I, I feel like, you know what, all of a sudden I felt like, you know what, you've been saying planning and praying for the longest and we never hear the pray part about it. I feel like the Holy Spirit is telling me that. So right now I am feeling led to pray. So that is just what I'm going to do. Lord, Father, God, we come before you just thanking you for today and for this moment. Lord, Father, God, we thank you for just honoring us in everything that we do. Lord, Father, God, we thank you for your grace, God. We thank you for your mercy. Most of all, God, we thank you for your presence. Lord, Father, God, we thank you for just coming in and just being with us and just soothing and curing our every need, Lord, Father, God. We ask that you continue to watch over us, Lord, Father, God, every person that can hear the sound of my voice, Lord, Father, God. I pray peace over them right now, Lord, Father, God. We ask that you just come in and you command our plans, Lord, Father, God. You look over our plans, Lord, Father, God, and you lead the way. Guide us in the direction in which you would love for us to go, Lord, Father, God. We only want to do your will. So will you lead us into your will and into your presence and into what it is that you need for us to do. Lord, Father, God, everyone who is suffering right now under the sound of my voice, Lord, Father, God, I command that you through me give them grace, Lord, Father, God, that you give them what it is that they need to just sustain, 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 and to hold on 
hold on. Know that the Lord is with you, Lord Father God. We just thank you. We honor you. We love you. We ask that you be with us through the course of this upcoming week. We know right now because of you, it will be great. So we thank you in advance. We love you. It is in your son Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. You guys, go be great and have a great week. All right. And don't forget to like this video you guys don't forget to comment don't forget to share don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe and if you're already subscribed hit that notification bell ding ding that way anytime i post a video you will be notified but most of all y'all be blessed be blessed don't forget keep planning keep praying and i'll talk to you next time bye